Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in this next episode of In the Dirt with the Sodu. We're out here today at Sutton Ford in Chicagoland, and we got Nick Chakra, who's the GSM out here. So Nick, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so first off, how long have you been in the industry? What first attracted you to it? And then how long have you also been at Sutton? I have been in Sutton for since April, so I would say this is my eighth month here. Yeah. And I've been in the industry for the past 30 years. Yeah, so you're a veteran at this point. That's cool. I mean, it is what it is. It's part yeah. of being in the business for a long time. When sure. you love something, you do it for as long as you can. Yeah. So, Nick, I know I've already said this off camera, but one of the cool things was that at the store right now, you've been at the front on reception, um, at the reception desk, so you literally greet people as they come in on a Saturday, which a lot of times you don't really see GSMs doing that. So huge props to you doing that. What is like your biggest motivator here in the car business? Well, it's, uh, customer is everything we got. So sure. if, they, if we cannot show them how important they are and uh, give them the full attention, then I feel like we are short at delivering the message to the customer. So it's very important to acknowledge them, to show them that they are welcome to the store, uh, to show is not only we're the first people to see them, but we also the last people to say goodbye to them. Yeah, sure. So, and that was very clear because you even took time out of your day to go help out a service customer that was over down at the cashier. And it's cool that you walked them down there. You helped them through that process. And there's a lot of things that about you that have really bring that up. But one of the cool things is you even pointed out my sweatshirt, which says love people more than you love cars. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So here in this industry, there's a lot of times where people don't do that. Um, what is it that makes Sutton Ford different than other dealers in this area? One of them I would say is you're at the helm here in the sales department, but I bet there's also some other small things that make you guys different here in this community. Because we're talking about Chicago land here. We're not talking about a small city somewhere, or even just a suburb of something. We're talking about a pretty big market. We are. We always remember that's to go back again to the basic. Be, going back again to the basic with customer service, acknowledging the people, regardless of what the reason they walk in into the dealership for. If they're coming into the service department, they still need full acknowledgement. If they're coming in, even if they're a transporter, and I always tell uh, my staff here, we treat the people the way how we want to be treated. Those who transport are they're also buyers, right. you know, at one point. They, they have cars and they drive cars and they buy cars. Your impression, your first impression on those customers is very, very important. What If they came in and they seen the welcoming and they saw that you took care of them and you acknowledge them regardless of what's their job and what they're coming in for, you know, they always remember that and will leave the impression that you need to leave on your uh, dealership. This dealership is uh, believe back again and the first step of sales is still it's the most the strongest as the most value step in the sales. Sure. Yeah. How cool. So here we are coming to a close for 2023. What are some things you're going to be focusing on for 2024 that you think other automotive retailers across the country should also be focused on and concerned about? Um, I believe uh, two important things that we need to focus on. Uh, transparency. Sure. You know, uh, the transparency need to be uh, across uh, the way. The transparency between you and your staff, a transparency between you and your customer, a transparency between you and yourself. You have to be honest to yourself, honest to your customer, honest to your staff in order for the dealership to go to the success. That's what we're going to carry on in year of 2024. Make sure it's across the board, respect, dignity, and treat everyone with the transparency to take us to the second level. Yeah, how cool. So it's clear that you want to have not only great experiences for your customers, but also for your employees. And it's very clear that you know that you have to pour to your employees before your employees can in turn pour into your customers. So how cool. Well, Nick, I know that I asked for four minutes, you gave me five. So thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day. It's been a pleasure to catch up with you. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks, Nick. Thanks for watching this episode of In the Dirt with a Sodi. If you're new to our channel, make sure and mash that like and subscribe button. Also, check out some of these links for our other great podcasts and content.